What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some hidden features for photo editing on your Galaxy device that you're probably not aware of because unfortunately, Samsung buries a whole lot of the photo editing capability and power of the features of the gallery in One UI 5.1 behind a bunch of different menus. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to uncover some of those today. And also talk about what they're used for. Before we get started, huge shout out to my son, Jonathan, again, for giving me this beautiful humpback whale put in my video. And I also want to remind you guys before we get started that if you're interested in getting a premium wireless plan that also delivers exceptional value for international calling and texting, you guys would want to check out my partners over at Ultra Mobile. Ultra Mobile is a sister company of Mint Mobile with a particular focus on international talk and text. They've got several plans in one month, three month, six month, and 12 month varieties. So if you're either someone who has family abroad and you need to call them, you live in the US, you gotta call back home. Or if you're traveling to the US and you need a SIM to call back home while you're here traveling, they've got options for everybody. You can see they've got a talk and text plan only, two gigabyte plan, six gigabyte plan, 15 gigabyte plan, unlimited plan. And if you bump those up to three, six, or 12, you'll save even more money off of those plans. Now, all of their plans come with the free unlimited nationwide talk and text data, free unlimited talk and text to 80 plus international destinations, which is the real selling point in my opinion, free Wi-Fi calling, free three-in-one SIM card. And if you guys wanna take advantage of this today, the best part is you can get 15% off your first purchase if you go to my link, which is ultramobile.com Springer. Put in code Springer at checkout, get 15% off any of these plans. They have the same great coverage that you're used to getting on the leading nationwide network here in the US. But in addition to that, all of that great international talk and text to 80 plus destinations. And if you guys go to ultramobile.com slash Springer, get that 15% off with code Springer. I'll also give you a play credit to get the premium wallpapers and icon packs that I use on my phone every video. People are always asking about those. All you have to do is sign up for any plan from ultramobile.com slash Springer, put in that Springer discount code to get 15% off. Email me or get in touch with me via Twitter DM and I will send out that play credit. And we do appreciate Ultra for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these features for photo editing, which are inside the gallery. So everybody pretty much knows some of the basic features, but there's a couple that are really buried. And I have this nice photo here of my son from his uh, birthday party um, earlier this month. And so I wanted to show you guys some of the features down here on the three dot menu in the right, see a lot of people know about the pencil icon, right? The pencil icon, obviously we know that's gonna edit it. This favorites it, this shares it, this deletes it, puts it in the trash. But here at the three dot menu, there's a bunch of other like, options. And a lot of you have probably used the set as portrait option, uh, the remastered picture option, some of those. But what you probably don't know is if you actually hit the edit button, there's another three dot menu down here. And this is not the same three dot menu that we just saw in the last one. If you hit this three dot menu, now there's a bunch of whole other options down here, which are actually inside the photo editor. So a couple of these I've talked about before. Object eraser is one that I've talked about in particular quite a bit. Object eraser is pretty self-explanatory, right? You can find an object, like for instance, back here, the uh, birthday cake in the background and you could erase it. I didn't do a very good job of covering the whole object, so it's not gonna erase the whole thing, but it'll erase it. And then of course you can undo that, you can cancel, go back to the regular picture. Um, but there's a couple other ones here that are really fun, that are useful, and there's a couple of new features in them. Face effects, which is one that you might like to use. This allows you to smooth out the face, change the tone, uh, uh, just a one specific spot, right? You can move that and kind of see where it's going to be and where it's gonna change it. You can change the jawline, wouldn't really wanna do that on my son. Change the way the eyes look. You can kind of see how that modifies it a little bit. And then this is a blemish remover. So my son has beautiful skin here, but uh, if you have a blemish like uh, somewhere on your face, you could tap to just remove that blemish um, from the photo. And then over here, you've got BG blur and red eye fix. So if there's red eye in the photo, you can remove it or remove it from it. So I don't have that in this case, but you could do that. Um, perhaps the more fun option that people really kind of enjoy is style and then the color mix. So style, what this does is with style, you can change the style of the photo. So you can see here, you can do color pencil and you can actually change the effect, the way in which it's applied. You can actually remove the style from the person or the background or both. So you can see how here 
I removed this style from my son, but it still keeps the background of his party in colored pencil, which I think really looks cool with the dinos and things like that. And you can draw around the area that you want to change and apply the style to. So let's say that I wanted to apply the style to the dino's face, then you could do that and then click done. And then it will go ahead and try to apply that style in the area that you've highlighted. So the one thing that you have to be very careful of when you do these as well, let me go back into the style menu, is that each of these styles, there's a lot of really fun ones, comic, watercolor, blue ink, pastel, kind of just going through them, marker, line art, oil paint, cubist, and pen and wash. So a lot of really fun styles. Um, and you can kind of see here the spot where I highlighted before. Um, you can kind of see how I highlighted the style in this particular part in the middle. And you can do that with each one. You can also tone down the style, tone it up, kind of get the perfect look. It's really fun to play around with. But the one thing you have to be aware of is once you choose a style, any style that you choose, let's say I want, click done, you don't want to hit save up here. Make sure you go down here and hit save as copy. You can also resize and do things like that because if you save it, it's going to save over the original photo. But you can see I still have the original photo because I did save as copy. I don't know why Samsung doesn't put that at the top as the default because most people are going to want to save the original as well. So let's go back in here to the edit menu, go back to the three dots menu. Um, in addition to the style, there's this other one that's called color mix. And uh, you can play with different color hues in here, turn them up or down, saturation, and luminance. So you can actually play with the different color mixes up here and kind of get an idea by looking here, you can also extract colors from the actual photo, which is very useful. Um, so there's a lot of fun options in here. I think the style one, color mix and spot color are ones that people don't use enough. And then people don't also realize, I think, that the resize option is in here and it gives you some very good resize options that are automatically scaled so you don't have to figure out what the correct pixels is to go to 50 percent 80 percent etc the actual the defaults are 20 40 60 and 80. so if you need to make a quite you know smaller photo but you don't want to lose the dimensions the proportions um, you can do that right within there as well so anyway i want to talk about this menu i think a lot of people don't know about it and it's really useful something you can do kind of play around with get some fun effects on your photos Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you guys are interested in trying out some awesome wireless service that has talk and text to 80 plus international destinations included, ultramobile.com slash Springer. Use code Springer for 15% off at checkout. Get in touch with me if you sign up for any of these plans via Twitter or email. I'll send you out that play credit as well. I'm doing that as a personal thank you for people trying Ultra. I appreciate them for being partners with the channel. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.